committee will be in order. Chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Wyoming, Vice Chair Cheney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Before we turn to what Ms. Hutchinson saw and heard in the White House during the violent attack on the Capitol on January 6th, let's discuss certain communications White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows had on January 5th. President Trump's associate, Roger Stone, attended rallies during the afternoon and the evening of January 5th in Washington, D.C. On January 5th and 6th, Mr. Stone was photographed with multiple members of the Oath Keepers who were allegedly serving as his security detail. As we now know, multiple members of that organization have been charged with or pled guilty to crimes associated with January 6th. Mr. Stone has invoked his Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination before this committee. General Michael Flynn has also taken the Fifth before this committee. Mr. Stone previously had been convicted of other federal crimes unrelated to January 6th. General Flynn had pleaded guilty to a felony charge also predating and unrelated to January 6th. President Trump pardoned General Flynn just weeks after the presidential election. And in July of 2020, he commuted the sentence Roger Stone was to serve. The night before January 6th, President Trump instructed his chief of staff, Mark Meadows, to contact both Roger Stone and Michael Flynn regarding what would play out the next day. Ms. Hutchinson, is it your understanding that President Trump asked Mark Meadows to speak with Roger Stone and General Flynn on January 5th? That's correct. That is my understanding. And Ms. Hutchinson, is it your understanding that Mr. Meadows called Mr. Stone on the 5th? I'm under the impression that Mr. Meadows did complete both a call to Mr. Stone and General Flynn the evening of the 5th. And do you know what they talked about that evening, Ms. Hutchinson? I'm not sure. Is it your understanding that Mr. Giuliani, Mr. Eastman, and others had set up what has been called, quote, a war room at the Willard Hotel on the night of the 5th? I was aware of that the night of the 5th. And do you know if Mr. Meadows ever intended to go to the Willard Hotel on the night of the 5th? Mr. Meadows had a conversation with me where he wanted me to work with Secret Service on a movement from the White House to the Bullard Hotel so he could attend the meeting or meetings with Mr. Giuliani and his associates in the war room. And what was your view as to whether or not Mr. Meadows should go to the Willard that night? I had made it clear to Mr. Meadows that I didn't believe it was a smart idea for him to go to the Willard Hotel that night. I wasn't sure everything that was going on at the Willard Hotel, although I knew enough about what Mr. Giuliani and his associates were pushing during this period. I didn't think that it was something appropriate for the White House Chief of Staff to attend or to consider involvement in. I made that clear to Mr. Meadows. Throughout the afternoon, he mentioned a few more times going up to the Willard Hotel that evening and then eventually dropped the subject the night of the 5th and said that he would dial in instead. So General Flynn has uh, appeared before this committee. Uh, and when he appeared before our committee, he took the 5th. Let's briefly view a clip of General Mike Flynn taking the Fifth Amendment. Uh, General Flynn, do you believe the violence on January 6th was justified? Can we have a minute? Yes. All right, we're back. Congressman Cheney, could you repeat the question, please? Yes. General Flynn, do you believe the violence on January 6th was justified? Is that, can I get a clarification? Is that a moral question or are you asking a legal question? I'm asking both. I said, I, I said the fifth. 
Do you believe the violence on January 6th was justified morally? Take the fifth. You believe the violence on January 6th was justified legally? Fifth. General Flynn, do you believe in the peaceful transition of power in the United States of America? The fifth. 